Hello, I'm Anlai Chanthong, Minister for Innovation, Science and Technology. Today's forum brings together some of our leading experts across industry, government and universities to share ideas and developments in smart sensing. And I regret I can't be there in person. I'm a great believer in the power of technology to solve critical challenges. And smart sensors are at the leading edge of innovation with the power to improve the way we work, communicate, live, move, and so much more. With a population expected to grow by 1 million people by 2041, Western Sydney is fertile ground for new smart sensing partnerships and opportunities. The Western Sydney Aerotropolis and the Bradfield City Centre are greenfield sites designed to be cyber smart and digitally led. And having access to the right data is vital for future evidence-based planning and policy. To support this, the New South Wales government is investing in pilots to demonstrate the benefits. This includes Parramatta's Smart Street Project, which uses centres for smart street poles and smart irrigation. The Asset AI Initiative, which uses sensors and artificial intelligence to streamline road maintenance. And the Open Air Project in partnership with the New South Wales Smart Sensing Network and universities, which will position New South Wales as a front runner in the use of low cost air quality sensing. In everything we do, it is critical we put the needs of our people and communities at the centre. That's why the New South Wales government is proud to support the N. SN and the work it does to bring together the innovation, imagination and industry expertise to realise the potential that smart sensing offers. Congratulations to the NWSN, Western Sydney University, the CSIRO and Sydney Science Park on today's event. I very much look forward to hearing more about the innovative proposals that come from your discussions.